All right, today we are in Menlo Park, California, which is in the San Francisco Bay Area. And we're gonna take a look at a couple of different things here in the area. So we're on the 280 heading south right now, heading towards San Jose. See the sign here, Stanford University, Slack Accelerator Laboratory, Palo Alto will be this exit. So uh, first we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Sand Hill Road. Then we're gonna look at the most expensive listing available, the least expensive listing available, and then the top employer here in Menlo Park. So we're getting off here on Sand Hill Road. This is a pretty well-known uh, road, one of the most expensive uh, real estate streets in the world. So basically, if you are starting a company or you have a company and you're looking for some sort of funding or private funding or venture capital funding, uh, you may end up here on this road. Most of the uh, big companies that we know today, like um, I guess like Facebook, Uber, in those types of companies um, at one point or another ended up uh, coming by here to get funding. So all of these nondescript office buildings uh, you may end up at uh, if you're looking to uh, get money for your company. So off to the left there, it looks like there's uh, Menlo Ventures. So this is one of the more famous uh, office parks right here. There's the Rosewood which is a hotel here. And then 2725 through 2775, just a lot of different uh, venture capital firms in this little office park. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue on.
the left here is Northern Trust, Comerica Bank, New York Stock Exchange. And then on the right here is the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory. So yeah, that's a government funded um, physics laboratory that's operated by Stanford, uh, which is the nearby university here. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the least expensive listing here in Menlo Park. Uh, we're about a half a mile away, so it gives us a chance to drive down Sand Hill. So off to the left here, this is Sharon Park Drive. If you're looking to do some, uh, pick up some something from the pharmacy, maybe do a little grocery shopping, there's a small um, shopping center right here on Sharon Park Drive in Sand Hill. Off to the left there was Kostla, uh, Kostla Ventures, which is another well-known venture capital firm out here. We're taking a left here on Santa Cruz Ave. If you took a right here, that would head on over to the Stanford campus. All right, so this is the complex for the least expensive listing here in Menlo Park. Uh, an entry level unit here in Menlo Park is gonna run $749,000. And uh, it's on the market for one bedroom, one bath, and it's only 760 square feet. So um, if you do the math, that's about $1,000 per square foot. Um, off to the left here, you can see it's in, it's definitely an older building, maybe built in the eighties, late seventies, possibly check the description below for more information.
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and continue on to the most expensive listing available here in Menlo Park. We're about three quarters of a mile away, so uh, we get to drive through a typical neighborhood here in Menlo Park. As you can see, lots of uh, trees, lots of greenery, lots of fences. You can't really see into the properties, uh, which is usually expected in um, more expensive neighborhoods. Uh, it gives a, a, a better sense of privacy. You get some bright coloring on the trees here. We're here in the beginning of October. It's uh, just getting into fall. All right, right here to the right is Hillview Middle School. The school is in session. Looks like uh, the kids are out enjoying their recess. Okay, so this is basically the neighborhood for the most expensive listing available here in Menlo Park. Uh, it's up on the market for $6,880,000. It's up as six bedrooms, six baths, 5,150 square feet, and about 10,000 square foot lot. So just under a quarter acre. So it's a nice little street. Um, you can see there's other million dollar homes here very close to the middle school. So this is it, newer construction. Nice looking home, they did a good job. All right, so we're going to go and continue on. And again, we're about uh, a few miles away from the, the top employer here in Menlo Park, which is Facebook. So we'll get a chance to just drive through the neighborhood.
So here in Menlo Park, they have some of the top schools in the nation. Um, consistently, most of the schools here are nines and tens on greatschools.org. All right, here we are on El Camino Real. Off to the right there is another office building, a lot of uh, venture capital offices in there as well. Menlo College off here to the left. All right, this train tracks right here, this is the Caltrain. So it runs from uh, San Francisco down to San Jose. It's not as fast as the BART, but it is a nice clean uh, train. And uh, a lot of folks use it to commute if you live in San Francisco, but you work down here towards Silicon Valley. All right, so we're going down Marsh Road right now. And we're actually cut through Atherton, which is another neighboring city here in uh, near Silicon Valley. Just a residential area. We'll be sure to do a video on that. Some of the most expensive homes in, the, uh, in America are located here in Atherton. So Facebook is actually on the other side of Menlo Park, near the water, the bay side. Actually, it's right on the water, so we'll get a chance to go take a look at that. 
We're just a few miles away from there right now. So this is Marsh Road. Uh, this is a main thoroughfare through this part of the Bay Area. If you continue on this road, it'll run you over to one of the bridges, the Dunbarton Bridge. All right, off to the right here is the 101 entrance going south, heading towards San Jose. We're heading east towards the uh, San Francisco Bay. So we're actually just gonna go right up over this freeway here. So the 101 freeway, the northbound entrance is off here to the right. Um, you would catch that if you're going to be heading to the San Francisco airport or to San Francisco. Um, you're going to head southbound if you're going towards uh, San Jose. Again, we're heading uh, towards the bay right now. So we're just going to stay here on Marsh. All right, so we're coming up on the Facebook campus right now. Uh, they actually have two different buildings they occupy here uh, on the street. The one on the right where you see these cranes, that's the newer building that they just moved into. And before that, off to the left, those white buildings that are out there in the middle of nowhere, that was their original headquarters. And it's just built up of maybe, I don't know, maybe like 10 or 12 different large office buildings. 
we're going to go ahead and drive through the old campus because that's where one of their iconic signs are that you might have seen on Facebook or Instagram or something like that where people take pictures in front of. That's where it's located, at the old campus, not the new campus. So here's the new campus here on the right. It looks like they're building more. So what, what a pretty big company. There to the right, again, is their new campus. It looks like they're adding on quite a bit of, of square footage. Alright, and then off to the left there, that's the older campus. So, let's go ahead and cruise on over there and take a look at that iconic Facebook sign. Out there in the background, those mountains, that's over towards like the Fremont area on the other side of the bay. Good place to go hiking over that way, but if you definitely couldn't walk there, you'll, you'll have to drive. All right, so off to the right here, you can see a couple of the tourists here by the sign coming right around the corner. So one hacker way, they got the big thumb in the front, and this is the, uh, the original campus for Facebook, well, the first large campus. So this is it, uh, they don't do any tours here, so if you're hoping to walk around, maybe if you know a friend, or a family member that works here, you might be able to go in and take a look. But other than that, there's not really much to see here. Just a large parking lot and then the office buildings in the back. Uh, but if you want to get a cool picture there with the uh, Facebook thumbs up in front, you know where to go now. Um, just go to the intersection that we just turned on. So you can see that they have quite a bit of a uh, parking issue here. Just uh, too many employees. Uh, here at Facebook, they employ around 7,000 employees here in Menlo Park, which again is the uh, largest employer here in Menlo Park. All right, yeah, so that's uh, that's Menlo Park um, and the Facebook campus here, in the largest employer here in Menlo Park. But um, yeah, hopefully you found the uh, video interesting. If you, uh, if you did, be sure to click thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And uh, if you have any questions about anything we looked at or you wanna learn more about the homes that we looked at, just be sure to uh, get in touch with me through the description box below. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you on the next video.